Hello people, welcome back to part 4 of the physics simulation. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, you probably should work to, uh, watch those and I will link it in the description. So in the previous videos, we basically coded the main parts like they colliding with each other and bouncing off the walls and stuff. And in this video, we're just going to fix a few stuff and like optimization basically. The so first thing that you might notice like all of them are kind of getting stuck in the floor and also um, you know on the walls and then they just like sink into the ground and disappear. And the reason for that is because our functions just if that it hits the floor, it just reverses the velocity. And the problem with that is that if it it goes in a lot into the floor, it can't escape it completely. So on the time by the time it's like going upwards or going away from the wall, it still is in the wall. So the velocity gets flipped again and then it just goes into the wall more and then it just gets flipped. The way that we can uh, fix this is pretty simple. We just do constraints of position to make it so that it never ever basically escapes the boundaries. So this dot p dot x constrain it between zero and six hundred. And since the balls have a radius we have to account for that. So plus size divided by two and also minus size divided by two. And then what we can do is we can just copy and paste this here and then change the change the x to a y. And now as you can see everything should work and they shouldn't sink into the floors anymore. Okay now onto the main part of the tutorial is that let's say increase the number of balls to 1000. First it gets extremely laggy and the reason for that is because here we're looping through every single one of the balls and for the collide function for each of the balls we're also loop looping through all of the circles. So basically we're looping through 1000 and 1000 so 1000 to the power of 1000 that's like 1000 times 1000 that's a million so like 1 million loops every frame and that's why it's lagging a lot. The way that we can solve this is by dividing the canvas into multiple grids and by doing that we only need to look for the balls that are close to each other so we we already know that this one and this one will probably will be way too far apart and there's no chance of them colliding so for this frame we only need to look at like the boss surrounding it and see if it's colliding okay so let's just create a variable called b size for the box size or like the size of each of the boxes let's just do a 20 for now uh, let's just call grid call box and this will be a three dimensional array and the first dimension is for the x-axis so we have 600 divided by b size so that's how many grids there are on the x-axis and so we have another array so let's just fill that array uh 600 dot b size this array will be for the y-axis and so we need another array because multiple grids multiple balls on each grid let's just fill it with an array for now and we're also going to reset the every frame because when the boss move out of like the grid, you have to it has to go to like another thing. So we how do we like append the stuff to here? We need to kind of like append the index of each circle. So let's just instead of let i equals zero instead of like the for of loop, let's just do the normal one. Less than circle dot circles dot length circles i dot show not like do this. Okay, now everything should still work, and what we do is block, and then we do floor, so for like the x-axis, we floor over the floor, right? circles i dot p dot x divided by b side, and then the next one is floor, same thing, but with y axis, so, so dot y divided by b size, um, and then we just dot push i. So there's this error, and I really don't know why this is terrible, but I'm just going to put it in a try cache block. I found that this error doesn't seem to affect anything but it just gives an error sometimes it might be because of p5.js so instead of looping through all of the circles we're actually going to loop through all of the indexes and again this seems kind of um like not that good because you need actually three loops but like for each of the loops you actually need, just need to loop one so basically round the first one will be for the x so round up same thing plus one okay so that's the first loop Second loop is basically the same thing, looping through the Y. So, the second loop is basically the same, let's just, we have to change this to Y now, but now also this to call it J and I, J and K, because that's apparently what you're supposed to do in a loop. For let K, you, this one will just be looping through all of the, you know, the stuff in the grid. For let K equals zero, if the box I, J dot thing, the variables we just define. Okay. Okay. 
we have the style and then instead of doing circles i dot p we do circles box i j k dot so for everywhere we have that we just do this because then we just replace this here let's just replace that there and i know it's not going to work because my code just never worked on the first try okay two very simple mistakes first of all k this needs to be k i wrote i here for some reason also second mistake here circles i forgot to replace this one now there's a problem is that we have to put everything here in a try clash box because there are a few exceptions that are basically um that gives you an error and it doesn't actually matter here but so basically the first loop loops through the x and we're not looping through every single grid we're just looping through the grid before that and the grid after that and same for the y so basically this grid that the ball is currently in and the surrounding grids we need to look at the surrounding grids because if the ball is in the grid before it but it's overlapping the grid that you're in because there's a radius and so we have to look for that and so that's why and now everything is working as you can see if you just you know, here just let's say if we replace increase this to 5000 again i mean 1000 i think is good but okay so the first places they are really laggy because it's in the beginning but then it gets better actually because 1000 they're all just squished together that might actually be worse Okay, so it's still a bit slow because um, two reasons. First of all, I'm using video recording software and my computer is getting really hot. And second of all, it's actually actually moving, I, I believe, a lot faster than before, but it's just that my movie recording software is making it slow. I reduced the size of the boss a bit so that we can see it more clearly, and I think it's not bad. 